Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio. You've noticed probably already that it's been quite long ago since I've repainted the last big doll head. And you know, I kind of was out of inspiration for a while. Unfortunately, all these big doll hats, all these styling hats have kind of the same types of faces. There are just three or four of them here, at least on the Belgian market. And I've repainted each of them already three or four times, so I felt kind of bored. But luckily, <laughs> luckily, one day I went online and I found Jessica. <laughs> Jessica was so beautiful and so fresh and so out of the box that I just had to order her immediately and today Jessica has arrived. Jessica is such a big styling hat, not for kids to play but more for professionals or rather for students, for people who are going to be hairdressers and then they have these big hats that are imitating completely human hats uh, and then these students can uh, practice in cutting hair and coloring and making curls styling and whatever so i really can't wait to open this box and see how the jessica looks because the pictures were interesting Okay, <laughs> I don't know, probably it seems on camera she looks a little bit better. Okay, Jessica, <laughs> you're officially creepy. But anyway, it's good because I love creepy dolls, dolls that are not very pretty, like standard cute, because then I have like something to work on, because when the doll is absolutely ideal from the beginning, I have nothing to do there. And here, I feel like I'm breathing the inspiration in <laughs> when I look at Jessica. But wait, there is another thing that feels a little bit awkward to me. When I ordered her online, it clearly said Jessica. That's why it was also a little bit funny for me. But here on this box, I see no word Jessica whatsoever. Here it says pro age. And here on this side, it's Sybil or Sybil, I don't know what language it is. And uh, it's the brand name, it's not her name. That's it, there was nothing else inside. Uh, am I the only one who finds it a little bit disturbing that the seller of this doll has probably called her Jessica because there is nothing, no reference to Jessica in this box. And I've bought her as Jessica. Maybe it comes from some catalog book, of course, but anyway doesn't matter okay let's start the transformation uh, by the way I see here some spots on her skin I don't know I hope they're gonna be easily removed with acetone or whatever I'm going to use and her skin feels quite rubberish silicone latex something like this it's not plastic and it's not it feels like there is plastic inside and uh, it's covered completely by some fake skin so yeah you see here on the bottom it's plastic and here you can normally insert some holder to fix this doll and to be able to style her hair to color and everything by the way this packaging says that you can do hot styling oh yeah for sure we're gonna do hot styling hair coloring I've already bought some hair coloring products, so prepare. Permanent waving? Probably not. I looked it up on the internet, but I'm, pro I'm not a licensed hairstylist, you know, for permanent waving. Cutting? Oh yes, we're gonna do it. And long hair styling? Of course, we're gonna do it, guys, today. So I can promise you, today we're going to have full-time fun with Jessica. What do you think, Jessica? You're gonna like it in the end, I promise it. And let's take a closer look. So first of all, I need to remove her original makeup and I'm kind of scared to start doing it with acetone because you never know, it might melt this kind of rubber or should I maybe try somewhere here on the back of her neck if acetone is going to act good <laughs> in this situation. 
Let's try. Okay. Here is my Q-tips. No, there is no problem. No, I see absolutely no problem with using acetone on this kind of surface. So let's do it. Let's remove the stickers. Yeah, her makeup goes easily off. So everything is quite easy. And then I sprayed Jessica's face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then when the sealant gets dry, I can start sketching her face. And I start like always with her eyes and eyebrows. And you can see that this doll has already some molded eyes, but they have kind of a little bit strange shape, let's be honest. They're a little bit too far from each other. Also a little bit too high maybe, so let's try to fix it a little bit. To her eyebrows I'm also given a little bit different shape than it was from the beginning. Then I'm also drawing the nostrils. And I'm also making dark the line between her lips. And then I start contouring her face using this very neutral light taupe shade. It's approximately the same shade like actually normal makeup contouring products are. Yeah, the pastels are blending really nice on this surface. Then I also contour the eyelids and the nose of the doll. And then I also contour the corners of her lips. This layer I protect with Mr. Super Clear sealant and let's count the layers again. I think it was fun last time. So this is the layer number one. On the second layer I'm going to make darker the shadows around her eyelids. Then I also add deeper shadows to the area around her lips, under her nose, under her lips, between the lips as well. And to complete this layer I'm now applying a touch of blushers to her cheeks. And I will also use the same color as an eyeshadow for her eyelids. And this layer I protect of course again with the sealant. On the third layer I am going to draw the white of her eyes and also apply the grey shadows in the corners of the eyeballs and in the places where the eyeball meets the eyelids. Mm -hmm. 
Then I draw the waterline using pink pencil. And also the tear duct in the inner corners of her eyes. Also on this layer I start drawing the eyebrows more detailed and I start with this light brown pencil and I will go all the time a little bit darker. The last thing I want to do on this layer is drawing her lips and after this I'm going to seal it again and it's going to be the end of the layer 3. It's layer number four and time to draw the irises. I'm going to give her very, very, very colorful blue eyes this time. And I've decided to do it mainly because also of her very serious face mold. I want to give her some very colorful and bright detail that would maybe a little bit get her attention away from her very straight, serious looking face. Also on this layer I keep working on her eyebrows and lips and after this I seal it again with Mr. Super Clear. On the layer 5 I keep working on her eyes making all the colors even more bright. On the layers number 6 and 7 I am going to draw the highlights and it normally requires more than one layer to build up a really nice light color so that's why I think this time I will have to do two layers and I start I call this with the eyelids then I add highlights to the irises especially to the bottom part of it And then I also add reflections and highlights to her lips, above the upper lip, so in the middle of the bottom lip. Now it's layer number 8 and it's time to draw the bottom eyelashes. I do it like always with an extremely sharp black pencil, so let's go. Also with the black pencil I draw a little bit the eyeliner and I still want to add another detail that immediately brings your doll face to another level, to another dimension. I'm going to add here to this reflection in her iris, I'm going to add a reflection from the upper eyelashes. The eyelashes will come a little bit later. To color her hair, I've bought this hair color product in one of our local stores and now let's experiment. Honestly, I'm absolutely not sure about the end result because this doll has synthetic hair and in my understanding of things you cannot really dye synthetic hair, but the package of Jessica said you can. 
So let's try. So of course, maybe if you're a hairdresser or a hairdresser student, you have some secret knowledge about how many percentage product you need to use to color this kind of synthetic hair, doll hair or mannequin hair. But since I have absolutely no professional knowledge about it and I'm just playing with this hat, let's just experiment because I really like this color and let's hope it's gonna work. And normally this uh, hair color is quite cheap, let's be honest, and normally this cheaper hair color is more aggressive. So I would never use this product on my hair. But I think that maybe today for coloring the synthetic doll hair it's even good that if we're using something more aggressive with a higher percentage of ammonia or something like this. So of course we need some gloves. Once again, this huge gloss. I don't know, for what kind of hands are I'm going to use my own. For people with huge hands, probably. So let's mix these two things together. And I'm shaking it nicely. Uh -huh. It says that we should keep it on her hair for 30 minutes. But I think I'm going to hold it a little bit longer because with this synthetic hair, it, I told you, I'm doubting if it's gonna work in the end. So I'm not really scared to burn or to damage her fake hair. You can see I've protected her face already and I split her hair in different sections so I can actually start applying this product. <laughs> so, never use this product on your own hair. <laughs> Maybe I should wear my gas mask. I don't know. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> So I've applied the product all over her hair and now I'm going to wait for sure for 40, maybe 45 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it, how it's going to change, how this product is going to work with this hair. Then I'm going to wash it off with warm water and then we will see what is the end result, if it really worked good and yeah, what, what will happen. So I washed off the product, I let the hair dry I don't see that much difference, honestly. Yeah, I kind of could predict it because probably to color this synthetic doll hair you must use some very special products that you can buy in professional hairdresser shop and then mix something knowing the percentage of this ammoniac and, and paint and stuff like this. But anyway, I can see that the tint has a little bit changed. She got a little bit more such a strawberry color because before it was completely no color color but now it has a little bit of tint in her hair so let's let's at least give her curls <laughs> for making curls i'm going to use my favorite hair curler really it's the one the best and there is nothing better than this on the market i bought it this summer just to try 
and I was kind of sure that it's gonna be another uh, weird, not really working, weird performing hair curler, but it's an amazing thing. I'm using it all the time and it really takes 15 to maximum 20 minutes to give me full head curls, like you can see it sometimes in the beginning of my video. So let's see how it's going to work on Jessica. So I take a strand of hair, put it inside of the machine, let it to suck in, and then I wait. And I see that her hair doesn't really curl. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not cool, it's not funny. I was going to give her pretty pink hair with a lot of curls, but her hair absolutely doesn't want to change the color. And now look, when I'm making the same curls on myself, I'm getting really such a spirals. And here is nothing, and that's it, and it's gone. Let's try again, just for science. Okay, I get it out of the machine and I let it cool down in such a curl position. Let's do it like this. But anyway, it's not it's not what it's supposed to be. Not like this you can have a little bit of curl, but if I brush it one time, see it's going immediately straight. Anyway, let's try it again. And now I see that it starts also slightly damaging her hair. No, I will not continue because I'm using it on a minimal temperature and already now I see that it starts a little bit damaging her hair so if this machine gets a little bit warmer her hair is gonna melt and this I'm not going to do so what are we going to do guys we couldn't really color her hair this is all we could make from curls <laughs> styling mannequin head they say uh-huh Okay, I'll try maybe another, my old-fashioned hair curler, because it's less hot after all. Oh yeah, look, with this hair curler it goes pretty good, look, because it's really just slightly warm, so okay. It will take, of course, much longer than with this automatic curler, but yeah, I have no choice. And this is what I've got an hour later. Look, beautiful ginger curls. And now I'm going to take hairspray and fix them. For this I'm going to turn her head upside down and spray it with hairspray. It 
To complete the transformation, I still need to attach the false lashes and also apply glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And after this, we will be able to take a look at the end result pictures. I think she has suddenly started to look like Botticelli's Venice from the painting. I always felt Jessica had the potential. And right now I'm even happy that I couldn't color her hair pink, because this ginger hair color looks so good on her. And what do you think, guys? Should we repaint some of Jessica's siblings, maybe? Repainting these mannequin faces is, of course, quite interesting, because they have completely different face molds, different proportions than big Barbie hats with their, you know, typical unerasable smiles. So I think I should experiment some more in this direction. But tell me what you think in the comment section under this video. And also please tell me if you like big doll heads makeovers on my channel. Should I make them more often or maybe you like Monster High repaint videos more? And now of course in the end we still should make an instant picture for the whiteboard. So guys, I really hope you had a lot of fun with me and Jessica today. Please don't forget to support us with your likes, as well as subscribe to my channel and of course hit the bell button. And I will see you already very soon next week Friday. Bye!